the fact is, many times people don't know how to stand once they've been ministered to. There's a lot of things that happen that people don't know happen. <clears throat> there are people that get healed, especially of internal things, don't even know they're healed. It happens during a healing service, happens during a, just a regular service <clears throat> where God just heals people uh, because they hear the word and they decide to believe, and the minute they do, they get healed, and they don't even know they're healed. They can't even tell a difference sometimes for, well, your body goes through cycles. There's a 24-hour cycle. <clears throat> there is various cycles. There's a three-day cycle, a four-day cycle, a seven-day cycle, a 21, a 14-day cycle, a 21-day cycle, uh, a 40-day cycle. These are all different cycles of different systems in the bodies. <clears throat> sometimes if something goes on inside, you won't know it happened until one full cycle has gone on. And then you'll notice, oh, well, that doesn't bother me anymore. But you don't feel it when it happens. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. Sometimes, whenever you come into a healing line, that same thing happens. Hands will be laid upon you. The person that's ministering releases faith. Uh, you get healed, and you don't even know it. You can't even tell it. And that's when you have to decide, based on what the Word of God says, believers will lay hands on the sick and they'll recover, that you have to decide to stand until you see that you don't have to stand anymore. And so sometimes people say, well, how long do I have to do this? Until you don't have to do it. It's real simple. It's not, there's not a set time, you know, a time limit per se. But the key is, what it comes down to is this. What do you believe? <clears throat> when did you receive? Did you really receive? See, it's amazing how the church... Uh, as a whole, has they will find something of truth in the Bible and then they will change it to where it doesn't mean anything anymore. In other words, <clears throat> Mark chapter 11 tells us in verse 23, 24, 23 mainly, <clears throat> that, well, and yeah, uh, that when we pray, we are to believe that we receive and we shall have. And that, it can't get any simpler or plainer than that. When you pray, believe you receive, and you shall have. So when do you, when do you receive? When you pray, not when you see it. Do you get it? So it doesn't say pray and believe when you see it that you have it. It doesn't say that. It says when you pray, believe that you receive. When you pray. So... When you receive is when you pray, and you receive it, and then you shall have it. Now, <clears throat> from the time that you believe you receive until you shall have it, you have to stand. See, people don't know that, or they don't, they don't realize it, that there is a standing that takes place, okay? <clears throat> One of the best examples we know of, or from the Bible anyway, uh, <clears throat> is, <clears throat> excuse me, the, whenever the woman had the boy, remember the, the woman told her husband, let's build the prophet a chamber. He comes by here all the time. Let's build him a little room there he can stay in. And then finally he said, you know, what can I do for these people? And his servant told him, said, well, they don't have a child. He said, okay, uh, in the season this time next year, you'll have a child. And the woman said, you know, don't, don't play with me. Don't, you know, uh, you know I, we haven't asked you for anything. But as he said, they had a child. Then the child's growing, and the child dies. <clears throat> the dad sees the child is something wrong with him. He takes the child to the mother. At this point, the child hadn't died yet. Then the man goes back out to the field, and the child is there, and the child dies. The woman says, get the wagon, get the chariot, get everything ready, get the horses. We're going to go see the prophet. And so then, now notice she left the child's body at the house, and she rode to the prophet. She gets there, and whatever, she starts to leave. The husband says, where are you going? I'm going to go see the prophet. Well, why? It's not time. All is well. Everything's good. She didn't even tell him he died. God bless that woman. I'm telling you, that's a woman of faith, okay? She didn't say nothing but what she was believing. All is well. All is well. <clears throat> then they see her coming, and the prophet says, go, go see what's going on with her. And she says, all is well, but then she says, come, 
you know, to my to my house. And the the at first the prophet says, no, we'll do it this way. She said, no, 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 you're coming, you're coming with me. And so they went back. And as you know, the rest of the story. That whole time she kept saying, all is well, all is well, all is well. She never let any corrupt communication come out of her mouth. Because corrupt communication is anything that does not agree with the word of God. It's just that simple. Now, <clears throat> and the prophet went, and the boy came back alive. Now, this is what, now that's an Old Testament story. But that woman knew faith. And today, we have a different idea. So now, we try to change that a lot of times to where people, they'll quote the Bible, but then they got to let you know that, well, it didn't really like that yet, you know. Yep, I believe I'm healed. Just waiting for the manifestation. You know, you, you just undid what you said. You, what you did was you really told us what you really believe, that you ain't got it yet. So don't try to twist it around and be cute with faith language, right? The Bible is clear. When you pray, believe you receive. Now, 